Hello. Hey YouTube, what's happening? So today, I would like to talk about smoking. God, I miss smoking. So I was watching the EN 187, some other fellas on a live chat. I was I watched a recording of it, and I think Baker X Derek joined in. I didn't catch it all. I caught a good portion of it. Checked it out. Man, I laughed my ass off. That was a pretty good time, man. It was it was neat to watch them all jibber jabber. I, I don't remember everybody on there. Forgive me. Uh, let's just say there was funny drawings and weird discussions about webcams constantly. My fucking camera don't work. Anyway, it was funny as shit. So, so I sit there and watch Evil Neil fucking uh, sucking on one of them damn vapor sticks and I'm going, motherfucker, dude. So, that wasn't really available when I quit. Uh, I quit smoking, no, oh, probably about five years ago. And a lot of it was due just to feeling unhealthy and I got a kid and all this other shit so might as well start doing a little bit better in my life instead of being a rowdy crazy guy so I cut back and then I chose the route of using the patch I don't know how, nicotine patch so I've, I've tried it before I've done that before and I've quit for several years and then you know joined the team again so I said I'll do the patch again. The way I see it, uh, if I was smoking cigarettes, I would get tar, I would get nicotine, I would get all the other carcinogens from the cigarette itself. So uh, let me back up. In my time, it was fucking okay to smoke, by the way. Smoking was all right. You smoked everywhere. So these days, you're shunned as a smoker, you're looked at badly, you're frowned upon, all that other shit, whatever. I figure to each his own. I can understand secondhand stuff, and I can understand not being wanting to be around it. But around here, they don't even let you smoke on work campuses or anything anymore. It's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of much. In some parks, uh, you can't smoke anywhere except your own car. Where the hell did I see that? I saw that at Carlsbad Caverns. You can smoke in your own car, that's it. Well, fucking that, okay. Uh, anyway, so what I used, I used nicotine patches. Nicotine patches seemed to work for me the first time. Please don't come over to me. Uh, that worked fine. So that's what I did this time. And I like it because I felt... I got my little buzz on from the nicotine. And that was the only poison going in me or the only added chemical. I don't expect they have anything else. I think it's just... Come on, dude. Uh, I don't think it's anything else. So, okay, I cut out two of the poisons. I cut, and plus I'm not harming my lungs. So I said, man, I really need to quit. I really need to do this. How the hell am I gonna do this? So that's the way I did it. And I said, I will wear this fucking patch as long as it takes to stop. I will get myself over it. I'll chew on other things. I'll do whatever it takes. So I'll, I'll wear this stupid patch as long as it takes. It's cheaper than smoking. Uh, I was smoking, I think, a pack a week. Uh, pardon me, a pack a day. So I'd end up going through at least a carton a week, easily. So there's 10, for those who don't smoke, there's 10 boxes in a carton, 20 cigarettes in a box. So I'd go through uh, a carton a week at least. So these days it's a lot higher, but I think then it was, oh shit, I don't even want to talk about pricing, I don't know. It's gone up so much, I, I think it's 60 bucks now a carton. I don't know, I don't smoke, so I don't know for sure. But anyway, so I'm watching Evil Neil. He's doing his vaporizer. You know, if, if I had the choice, I probably would have gone that route too. Uh, because I could still get the smoking in, still get the nicotine, and just not have all the negatives of fucked up lungs. I don't know how that does on your lungs, but I don't assume it's as bad as a fucking cigarette since it's 
supposedly water vapor, all that other jazz. You're just getting the cool nicotine part of it, the part that speeds your heart up, that reduces blood flow to your extremities, and the part that makes you feel fucking great. I don't know who says nicotine's bad. It makes you feel great. I do miss it, and watching him suck on that fucking vaporizer, Jack Black little reference, if you didn't get it, uh, kind of make me think, well, I think about smoking every day. It's not a secret, it's not anything else. I'm very, very, very fortunate to be with a young lady who doesn't give me a hard time, because I, I talk to her freely about wanting to smoke, uh, how I feel, you know, I, I'd smell a cigarette somewhere, if I smell it in front of me in a car, I go, ooh, that smells good, or I'll, I'll say something. And she's really cool about it, and I, you know, I talk about it with her, so I, I don't promise that I'm not going to start smoking again, but I really have no intention of it. But I know how it is, and I know how addictive my personality is, so, you know, I, I'd never want to say never. So anyway, she's really understanding of it, and I, I talked to her the other morning, and I said, man, that's really a pleasure not having to worry about how she would react if I started again. I don't plan on starting, but if I did, it's just one worry that I don't have to have. So I'm really lucky in that regard. She's really understanding, and that even makes me not want to smoke more because she's understanding. I wish more women, I've been with women in the past where I stopped smoking, and they looked at it, and oh yeah, that's great, and whatever else, and if I started smoking again, it was all hell, right? So it's just like, oh shit, this is going to break up a relationship, oh, this is going to do that. But, uh, yeah, the Lindsay is just uh, really exceptional. Lindsay's really exceptional. So, anyway, love smoking. I miss it like a son bitch. Wouldn't mind a little nicotine high or uh, a nicotine bump every now and then, but I live without it. And I'm better off for it. My daughter's better off for it. My pocketbook is better off for it. But, uh, so it, it, it's weird also, you see a person smoke around here, it's almost like, ooh, that's a bad person. Man, I am not the kind of person that, quit. I'm the, the stereotypical ex-smoker guy, right? I'm not the kind of guy who's to say, oh, you suck, you smoke. No, fuck that. You smoke, carry on, man. I know how cool it is, I know how wonderful it is, and I know what really, it takes over your whole life, it consumes everything, you, you find reasons to smoke, so whatever. I love it. But anyway. So, how many of you smoke, or used to smoke, or whatever else? You know, let me know in the comments below. And tell me how, if you quit, how you quit, what worked for you, and if you didn't quit, <laughs> how happy you are, you son of a bitch. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, lucky fucker. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.